it's your favorite older blended couple if this is your first time here i'm sylvia and i'm alan and we've been married for 22 years we are back again with another video this time we are answering questions from instagram so without further ado let's get straight into the questions the first question is what is the most challenging aspect of an interracial marriage where we call it a blended of a blended yes, marriage we're a blended couple right so i would say it's the attitude of other people yeah it's the way they treat you the way they look at you they always don't think they don't realize that this is my wife mm -hmm. you know it's and also you know they make you feel like um you're doing something illegal yeah like you're committing a crime like you know you are not normal but then again you know we say we always say you know don't worry about other people's opinions but it does affect you to some extent so yes we say you agree right that's yeah. the most challenging then the next question is what advice would you give to someone who is ready for marriage and uh, with their significant other who is from another culture and most probably different values and beliefs okay i say talk about everything up front get counseling talk to friends um, to family members talk to people like us who are already in a blended a relationship talk about how you're gonna raise your kids and you know religion values beliefs in a nutshell you need to come you know just be upfront yeah because you might find that you know you you're bound to anyway you find that you think differently that's right, right. and the way they get married might be different oh yeah that's Marriage another thing ceremony is mm. different in one culture to another i'm glad you mentioned that because remember when um we got married uh when we went to my country mm -hmm. What happened? Do you remember about the money and everything? And oh yeah, we had to pay, pay in bola and all this Lobola. sort of Lobola. It's called Lobola. Oh, Lobola. You remember what you asked me? Do you remember like, about why you had to give my father money? You don't remember that? You asked me, why do I have to give him money? I should be giving to you. Mm. I'm getting married to you. Why am I giving money to your father? Do you remember that? Not really, no. But... You don't remember you are. Uh, so you were okay with it? You you, you were not. Uh, it was kind of normal to you then. No, I wasn't okay with it, but I don't remember saying that to. Okay, you. what did you say then? Maybe I'm saying. I can't the wrong... remember. Did you Too say anything ago. about it? About your your thoughts about? Not really. I remember being... talking to Mer Myrna, and Myrna because he wanted like a million or something, and Myrna went and had a word with him, and he said, "No, look, just pay this much, and then forget about the rest." That I remember. Okay. But it wasn't, it didn't phase you that they wanted money. It, no, it was, no, because you already told me about it. So what I'm saying is, is when we were talking, you and me, mm -hmm. you don't remember no, what I you don't me? No, I don't remember. Okay. Anyway, he doesn't remember. He never remembers anything. He only remembers what he wants. If I say something and he say, well, you say this, or you were arguing, or you did this, then he remembers. So it's selective um, memory, should I say. Works well with the wife in anyway. The next question is what can someone learn from yeah being in with someone from a different culture or someone with different values and beliefs um so i say so your partner might not have you know same belief as you for example celebrating that day mm -hmm. might not mean anything to me but it means a lot to you so the level of understanding when it comes to birthdays mm -hmm. it's different it's different so yeah that can cause problems because you might be expecting me to buy you a present and i'm like well, what <laughs> who cares it's only a birthday uh and uh what do you think what could be the problem what with not doing a birthday or no anything else that might conf well conflicting if, if, ideas if you've got stepchildren for the the woman who's in a different from a different culture they might, especially if they're in, you know, 9, 10, 15. When they, if, they, if you then move to the spouse's 
country like America or England, their values would be different, their culture would Just be different. Just like the person you're marrying is the same. Yeah, but it's different harder value. for the kids. It can be hard for the kids. It's the same, <coughs> different values, different beliefs, isn't it? They're yeah, I know, from but it can country. be harder for the kids because they're not, especially if they're very young, they won't quite understand it. Mm-hmm. But you know, at least kids can adapt. So, um, the next question is, are there any cases where marriages don't work? Uh, because one spouse comes from a different culture. There must be. Well, like you said about kids, mm-hmm. that can cause uh, couples, blended couples, to go their uh, own separate ways. Uh, if the other spouse is having issues with, um, you know, the stepchildren, it, it could be the children. It could be, um, let's say, for me from Africa, if you had children, I could be having problem with your children. Yeah. Or you can have problem with my children, so it's not one way. Yeah, and also in different cultures, um, the male and female, or the daughter and the and the son, son they are are treated, treated different. differently. Yes. And, so, and in England, at one time, whether it's like that now, I don't know. But when, certainly when Sylvia was pregnant, they wouldn't tell you whether it was a girl or a boy. But they told me. Yeah, but you asked them, remember? And she said, "Oh, right." Well, she, which then she said, "We're not supposed to tell you." And then we really? said, "Yeah." Then we said, "We want the girl." So she said, "Well, I'll tell you it is a girl." Oh yeah, remember. remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we say okay, yeah. Because we said we want a girl, and she said, oh, if you want a girl, then I can tell you it's a girl. Yeah. 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 You don't remember? Because I remember. It. Like remember when Chardonnay was born? Mm-hmm. The first thing you did was to go downstairs to the uh, gift shop to get a pacifier. Because in me growing up, or our culture, we we don't. Maybe now they are doing it. I'm talking about. You know, I'm 53. Okay, so I'm talking about years ago. almost 30 years. Just before the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that. Like you have a kid, you go, run to a gift shop. And I was like, you know, anyway. So that could be, but it wasn't a big deal. Mm. But then she got infection in her yeah. gums because of the pacifier. Because, it, you know, this is why I actually for, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, infection control. Mm-hmm. There's not, it's not the word I want to use. Just for cleanliness purposes, yeah. I don't like pacifiers. But most people do use pacifiers, but yeah. with Chardonnay, the problem with Chardonnay as well was all her teeth came out together. Do you remember? Well, she was on antibiotics because mm. her gums got infected, and the doctor said, "When you get home, I want you to take all pacifiers, collect them, and put them in the bin, trash can." And I said, "Thank you, doctor." And then what did um, they teach her at? Um, Nursery school, a daycare, stick your thumb in your mouth. Oh yeah, then she so said then, she, then we had the problem of her sucking her thumb. Yeah. And I remember we went to the zoo and there was a 16 year old sucking her thumb. Mm. And I said to my wife then, that's going to be Chardonnay. But lucky enough, she wanted to kick the habit. Mm-hmm. And didn't she even paint that stuff on your nails yeah. so that it tastes horrible? So you want... Oh, and then she started wearing gloves a lot. Yeah. And then she started wrapping her fingers up with... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's to stop her picking. Then she started picking the uh, yeah. uh, the edge of her... Whatever you call this, by the, the edge of her fingers, like, you know? Yeah. She had lots of problems with that. Yeah. So the other question, uh, you know, people always ask us, how, uh, um, how long have you been married? Mm. We answered that one already. 22 years. We got married in London, England. Then we had um, a ceremony, a big mm-hmm. ceremony in my country, Zimbabwe. So we've been married 22 years. And we do have two children, one adult son and a teenager. And we have a grandbaby. Yep. So, yep. Um, and he doesn't use his pacifier anymore now either, does he? No, no, I don't see him. Yeah. Because she used to be shoving in his mouth all the time, but now she's, they don't bother. He's, he's obviously yeah, I'm got glad they did. Him. Yeah. So those are the only questions we are going to uh, uh, answer. We'll be answering more questions uh, next week. So if you got value from this um, video, please or give if you it. Learned something. Or if you learned something or if you got value, please give it, give it a thumbs up. You know a like a like yeah a thumbs up a like share and comment and we'll be back again with another video